Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for Shimmers Paints and I'm using the September 2023 Full Color Kits Collections. Now I've got the paper kits, the bonus bundle, as well as the color kits, right? So the bonus bundle, we have got this gorgeous, gorgeous sequin mix, as well as this paint right here, which is a creamy, it's called Just Peachy. For the color kits, we've got this gorgeous color story right here. I cannot wait to get into them. We have got shimmers, creamies, as well as color splash paint. So we're gonna have so much fun with that. Now I've already cut out my cut file, which was three different, three different feathers. I've got this one, this one, and this one. And then I just copied them and um, I copied them and I have like five to six of each because I thought I'd just have fun painting with them and not worry too much about anything. Just go, go, go and see how they come out. I thought that would be really fun to do. Phew. So let me tell you my plans. I'm going to paint these, right? I have to fussy cut all of this out. It is, it is all the things, right? And then guys, I mean, look at this paper. Um, I figure I need to fussy cut out at least a couple rows of butterflies, right? Let's see. Let's see. There is work for me to do here. Chances are that's getting cut out at some point, but I'm not going to do that yet. Oh, these bad boys. Yeah, not going to paint them yet. Those will get painted. This will get painted at some point. Here we are. So for my very first layout, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fussy cut this out, right? And I'm going to turn this big giant piece into a shaker pocket with the sequins. Yes, I am because it needs to be done. So what would be my background? Let's see. What could I handle being my background? The orange is nice. Guys, it's like I want to use each of these papers for something. You know what? This gold stripe I think is going to be the ticket for my background. I think so. Okay, Phew. so I need to fussy cut that, make a giant shaker pocket. We talked about that. I need to, oh, my papers are going flying. I need to fussy cut out all of those embellishments and a bunch of the butterflies. Guys, I've got some things, but to start, let me show you. Oh, I didn't even show you the photo. Here is the photo that I'm gonna use. All of these pieces are dressed. People are dressed in black. I thought that was very kind of them for my photo needs, right? So here is my daughter and her fiance. This is another couple that are married and they all went to a concert, right? I thought that would be super fun. Um, so of course, you know, I will go ahead and map that in just some white cardstock. I have some here. By the way, this cardstock that's right here, that was just from Mustache that I grabbed and it's a little bit of a thicker cardstock. I'm not going to treat it or anything. I'm just going to go for it. Since it's a little bit thicker, it should be able to stand up to the mess that I put it through, right? And then I'm just getting a little paper towel. I have this messy paper towel that I use and use and use and use. It's just one of those things that we do um, that I dab off on. So I've got my little crafting queen piece here and the crafting queen cup was from Nick. He got it for me. I got crafting queen and he got my daughter baking queen. I thought it was really cute when that happened. All right. So the blue colors will go together just amazingly, right? But even like this so sappy, I was looking at these three together and it would look like when something looks patinaed. So I thought I would try that as well. So why don't we go ahead? I don't want this to get on anything else. So let me go like that. Oh, look, my thumb is now blue. So that is the color splash in Swoon in the Lagoon. Guys, I am literally a Smurf now. I am now a Smurf. How did that happen? What did I do to myself? Okay, so I want that out, right? I wanna get the So Sappy out, which I'll probably use first. And then the Boogie Borden Blue. And I have lots of liquid in there. Alrighty. So let me start with the shimmers right here. 
And guys, I'm going to be doing basically the same thing on every one of them. They have a border on them. I'm not even worried about that. It's just going to be what it's going to be. And I'm just going to get some paint on there, right? Do a nice little rinsey rinse. Now I'm going to go into this creamies that I've had activating for a nice little bit. I'm going to put that on. They can blend. They cannot blend. Whatever. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this color that is Swoon in the Lagoon, which is a color splash. And I'm going to get that on there. And if these run together, it's only a good thing. Look at that. Ugh. It is all things happy and beautiful. So yeah, that's basically the drill. I'm just going to be as messy as I want to be with these colors and get all of this pretty color just dropped and see how it kind of makes it look metallic right there love that little bit of a mess oh so pretty look at would you look at it so i'm going to do that with the rest of them with all of these fun colors and i'll come back and show you as they dry all right my friends so let me show you my hot mess i went ahead and painted them in pretty much three colors per feather. And then I hit them with some splatty bits. So for the pinky orange feathers, I used the flashy flamingo. And then for the blue, you know, greeny type, I used so sappy. Now I'm going to go over all of them with some shimmers paint that's in my stash. It is color splash whites of their eyes to bring a little bit of white forward. Then I'm letting this dry overnight because it's pretty darn wet. So I've got my photo just has some white cardstock and it's a little scuffed up. And then I've got a, a very, very large shaky shaker out of this gorgeous piece. And of course I have it popped up on a little bit of foam because you know, you need room for it to become a shaker. So I think my photo is going to end up going kind of there-ish, there-ish. I don't know. I'll scuff up a little bit of the edges of this piece just for a little bit of interest. And I want to show you my feathers all painted up. Guys, I love this like little metallic-y, iridescent-y kind of sheen we've got going on. So pretty. So I need to get them cut out. My intention is I'm going to have to probably use, I'm looking at it, an exacto knife because I have a lot of paint on here. Um, I just want to stick feathers out to kind of complete the wreath idea. The thing I'm thinking of right now, though, I'm trying to decide if um, I want to use some of our paints to do a little splatters in the background. And I think I should do maybe just a little bit. Maybe I'll do it with these two color splash tones. I mean, I love color splash, so that might be why I'm going that way. So I think I'll do it. You know what I'll, I'll do? I will do it. I will do it with the So Sappy the and then the two color splash colors because look at that combo. Just to get a little something going in the background. So I'm going to do that ASAP. Let me move just Peachy out of the way really quickly. And then I will cut out my feathers and we'll just start tucking some things in. Now remember, I still have my alphas. I still have this beautiful set of stickers and I've still got my dots. So I'm, we've got lots still going on. I just thought I'd show you where we are with things. So I'm gonna get, I know what I'll do. Let me find a pencil. That's what they call these things. And I'm going to draw a line kind of underneath this circle bit right here because I know I want the mixed media kind of going around that because, you know, why waste any of our product that we don't have to by putting it under? All right, I'm going to do some, just simple splatty bits. No big deal with those things. Let this dry and then start getting those feathers out. You guys, <laughs> when I'm like, oh, I'll do a little bit of splatty bits in the background, it'll be fine. I totally went off, but I have such a thing for the color splash line. I couldn't help myself. And the So Sappy color, guys, that's the one that's right here that's giving me the most beautiful metallic-y kind of color. So yeah, that's what's happening there. Now, they're way darker right now because they're drying, 
but it is gorgeous. Like look at this blue where it's starting to dry. It's exquisite, most exquisite. Okay, I thought I'd show you what happens when you have zero restraint with mixed media goodies. So I'm very happy I did my mixed media goodies in the background. I think it's totally mimicking the sequins for me at least. I do have my cute little feathers all cut out. Now I don't think I'm gonna use them all on this, but I was thinking how great for my other layouts that I'll have some of these homemade embellishments already done. So that's my thinking on that. So like I could do a few here and then maybe two blue and one pink down here. How fun is that? It's gorgeous. They're so darned pretty. So I have that going on, right? Then let's see what I want to use from these dots. And then guys, I have all of these fun embellishments to decorate it up with as well. Now my giant shaker pockets attached down and my photo is attached down as an FYI for you. Life is sweet is really cute. And I also need to do my title guys. I want to use every single thing. Okay. So they're going to a rock concert. So I think I'm going to just hurry up. Oh, wait, maybe I'm going to do rock on for my title. I'm wondering, do I want to put that on here? No, we won't see it as well. Do I want to put it around? Oh, this might be cute. So if I do rock on around the circly bits, that might be really cute. Oh, I've got that little bit. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to stack lots of embellishments around this leafy cluster thingy. Guys, we're gonna be done with this before we know it. I think it is a blast when things just start coming together. Like these, we have that. And then here we go. Do rock on. And I'll just use the, uh, circular vibe to bring that together. That's cute. Okay, I love that. Love it. Oh, guys, look. I even have a exclamation point that I can use on this. This piece is so little. Yikes. Okay, so I can do rock on and now I can really get to tucking all of the things. Guys, I really... I still like that. Okay, we have that. I can put that to the side now. Now let me see. So I love this high and I love this life is sweet. So I think maybe, or do I wanna do the life is sweet because the orange will really pop down here. All right, for now I'm gonna do that so I can have kind of, you know, clusters and like wordy bits going on both sides. Life is sweet. I love this sticker right look at how it's like this gorgeous variegated something so if I have that right underneath my dot it's going to bring that cluster together a little bit love that I'm wondering if I should mimic that a little bit right up here where the title starts with that r to bring our eye to it just a little bit more I'm thinking that's not the worst idea there we go. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so I've got that cluster started. I've got a bazillion little feathers, which I do rather love. I think they're so pretty. But let's see what we have going on with some of these floral bits as well. I can get all of my tucking on. Now I do like to do a little bit of mimicking when I can. If I have a yellow flower here, I'd like the same type of thing to be going elsewhere. That's too blue. Let's, meaning I want a little contrast. There we go, beautiful, beautiful. Like these leafy bits, we can have them sticking up. Oh good, we have another leafy bit here that we can have behind this cluster area. Cute, cute, cute. So I need to stick these things down. They did go to a concert. So I'm thinking this word ticket would be perfect. 
You don't have to read what the rest of it, you know, reads. It's totally fine. Ooh, guys, look at that beautiful pink floral too. We'll put that, and of course I'll pop things up. Do you guys see another pink floral I can put down here? <gasps> oh, it's a heart. Although I have a lot of pink down here, so maybe not super necessary. Okay, I have, I can do these three. Ooh, guys. I've got the yellow here, I think, because I have this really nice large yellow flower. I'm going to do the yellow butterfly down here with that one. <laughs> I'm loving it. Okay, I'm happy with those bits. That's perfect. I'm happy with getting that in. Now, guys, I'm going to stick these things down. Not a big deal. And I want to sprinkle a few more of these sequins that I have left over in this. And we're going to be done. So give me a second, I'm gonna get the sequins on and I'll show you my finished layout. All right, my friends, this layout is done. Let me bring it up and show you some of my fun layers. I have got the sweetest little butterflies, the dots, my little feathers that I created from our cut file. That cut file was perfect for this kit. I had so much fun with it. I have pieces popped up on foam. My little butterfly wings are doing their thing. And of course, my shaker pocket is all shaky. So that's what I have for you guys today. I will have links down below for the Shimmers Paint website so you can get your hands on these color kits, collections, all the other paints, all that good stuff um, for the blog as well as the Facebook group so you can share what you create. Guys, when you put in your order, remember to put my name in the comment section so you can score yourself a freebie. And I think that's what I have. So I'm going to have still shots to follow right there and I'm going to see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye, friends.